Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Johnny Lightning's 007 or James Bond, The Living Daylight's 1987 Aston Martin V8. So let's get right on into the video. Life could be dreams. Do, 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 do. Life could be dreams. If I could take you up in paradise of a bug. Taking a closer look at the packaging, you see Johnny Lightning logo there, the pop culture logo, and the 007 logo. The nice little camera thing that's at the intro, um, the Living Daylights poster, and uh, this is the new James Bond, Living on the Edge. This is Timothy Dalton's first James Bond movie, I believe, um, but you can see there the poster, and then it says diecast metal body and chassis and authentic film re replica. Over here, you can see the facts shaken, not stirred, and then there's some facts about Timothy Dalton as, you know, uh, James Bond, sorry, and uh, yeah, and then there's the 6 Plus logo down there. Then you can see it says, as seen in the living daylights, 1987 Aston Martin V8, and the number one, and it says release two down there. On the back, you can see it says pop culture, Johnny Lightning, and collect all six. They're the other die cast you can get on uh, the back, and then the bunch of companies featured at the bottom. So let's go ahead and get this die cast right on our packaging. Taking a closer look at this diecast, this just looks so cool. So zooming in here, um, just to start off, it has this nice like sparkly, you can kind of see thumbprint on there already. Um, but it's got a nice sparkly black color to it and it just looks phenomenal. So you can see the little logo there on the hood, the headlights there, the grill, front uh, license plate says B549WUU on this side. Um, you can see a little stripe there, the nice uh, silver rims, I want to say gold for some reason, the tire that have tread on them, which is just cool. Um, I had no clue that these die cast had tread on the tires until I opened uh, the 83 um, Ford truck that I did a video on already, um, and Ford Ranger, and um, I just thought that was so cool because just tiny details like that, but yeah. This is Aston Martin there. Nice silver outline around the windows. Silver outline down there. And uh, the steering wheel's on the left side because of course, foreign made car over here in the US. We don't uh, don't drive on the left side of the road. I believe that's how they drive. We drive on the right side, but because we're right now, I'm that, I'm, that joke's probably gonna annoy a lot of people, but you know, anyways. <laughs> um, you see the back slopes down there. It doesn't really have a spoiler, just kind of a little stop, I guess. Uh, silver going around there. The taillights there, B549WUU, the little logo there. And this side has the same thing. There's the base, in case you were wondering, it says Johnny Lightning 1998, uh, Plying Mantis China 2023, Tomy International, and uh, yeah. So that is pretty much it for this diecast. It is definitely cool. And go check out my review I did on the AMC Hornet from The Man with the Golden Gun. Um, these are two James Bond movies I have yet to see. I just got into James Bond fairly recently. Um, and I've seen With Love from Russia, um, Goldfinger, and No Time to Die. So I've only seen three out of, you know, the huge amount of James Bond movies that they made, but I really like them, and, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to find time to get through them all, and, uh, watch them free, because I don't like giving my money to Amazon, so, <laughs> yeah, so that is pretty much it for this video, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy, if you are new, please consider leaving a like, commenting, sharing, and subscribing, and I'll see you guys on the next one, this is Sarsus, signing out, see ya!